Nebraska recently picked up a defensive back transfer from Northern Iowa. Omar Brown comes to us. After spending the last few seasons at Northern Iowa, where he was the 2019 Defensive Freshman of the Year in FCS. 2019 sounds like so many years ago, doesn't it? Yes! But in 2020, FCS canceled the entire football season. All of FCS didn't play football. And then in 2021, they played a spring season, which was kind of weird. And they played seven games. And Omar Brown played in those seven games. And then he played seven more games in the fall. He didn't play a full season because his season was cut short due to the injury. But in his 2019 season, he had 77 tackles and six interceptions. That's a pretty good production for a defensive back at whatever level you're playing. The fact that Omar Brown committed to Nebraska isn't the most interesting thing about this. What's most interesting about this is... That Nebraska, in a very short time, has appeared to re just retool their entire defensive secondary. Everybody paid so much attention to the quarterbacks, right? We only got one quarterback, Logan Smothers. Uh, what are we going to do about quarterbacks? Uh, well, there's been a lot of losses on the defense. What were we going to do about the defense? Well, it looks like we're doing stuff, bringing in some decent players. Let's look at the defensive secondary in particular. Last year's starters at cornerback, Quentin Newsom, Cam Taylor-Bred. Safety, Markel Dismuke and Deontay Williams. Most of the season, Deontay Williams uh, didn't start the last four games because of injury. Three of those four guys I just named, Deontay Williams, Cam Taylor-Bred, and Markel Dismuke are gone. All right, everybody knows Cam Taylor-Bred. You know, he had pass breakups all over the place. Uh, Markel Dismuke, probably didn't know this about him, 32 consecutive starts. Deontay Williams, four interceptions last year, 14th nationally in interceptions, even though he didn't play the whole season. So that's a fair amount of production and experience to be missing out of the defensive secondary. And, you know, they're, they're your last line of defense, Right. So what has Nebraska done to make up for that? Well, we got Omar Brown, the guy that I mentioned. He has two years of eligibility left. He has a lot of experience. FCS level, you could knock him for that. He was originally a two-star recruit coming out of Minneapolis, and he went to uh, Northern Iowa. I mean, you know, some guys just don't go up right away. They don't go to Division I FBS stuff. They go to another school, and then they make the next leap. It's just how things work. Maybe the grades weren't there. I don't know. It's okay. Can he play? Well, you saw FCS dude Samari Torre light up the receiving core last year. So let's give this Omar Brown guy a chance. Nebraska has also picked up Javier Morton, who comes to us from Garden City Community College as a JUCO transfer. He's got three years to play three years. Uh, he had a lot of offers coming out of high school. He was an Alabama recruit, and, uh, you know, you have to mention that because if Alabama looks at anybody, you know, this coffee cup was an Alabama recruit, and I have it. You have to mention that. Another guy everybody's forgot about is Tommy Hill. He committed back in December. He comes to us from Arizona State. He was considered Arizona State's top recruit or one of the top recruits in the 2021 class. He was heavily recruited by Nebraska, but he wasn't able to visit campus because of this bloody pandemic. So he originally was, Tommy Hill was originally a four-star recruit from Orlando. He played in 11 games last season for Arizona State. He has four years to play three years of eligibility. Um, and, you know, Tommy Hill, here's something interesting. He spent a lot of time on the special teams, but he also played some at, at uh, cornerback, I believe it was. But here's the other thing. He had four kickoff returns for 79 yards. Kind of a, you know, I, maybe they're mixing in this uh, whole multiplayer, multifaceted guy thing coming in. But you have those three guys added to the secondary who have experience, which is nice because right now, uh, when you look at what we have coming back, wait, we have two more 2022 recruits coming in, Jaden Gold and Malcolm Herzog, Herzog, 
who, if you remember Hartzog, also has return experience, or he was a returner. Um, when you look at what we have coming back, what do we have coming back in the secondary? Well, here's the cornerbacks. Tyreek Johnson, if you remember him, he transferred from Ohio State. Didn't really play a lot last year, but he was highly recruited. It's kind of like Ohio State, Alabama. you got to mention that stuff. Braxton Clark has played a decent amount, I think. Uh, not a whole lot. Quentin Newsom, that's your cornerback that's coming back. This started all 12 games last year, so you do have a guy with the experience that's already been here. Taman Lynham. A guy uh, I honestly had to look up because I didn't know who he was, but he was listed on the uh, two deep death charts. Uh, at safety, we have Nola Pola Gates. Miles Farmer, who actually started four games last year's season after Deontay Williams was injured. Isaac Gifford, who I believe played nickel and has some experience. And Javin Wright, another guy who I had to look up. So, what do you got? You got guys coming in who have experience and have production, and then you're going to mix them in with some guys that are already here. And we have a lot more players than that on the roster in the defensive secondary. But those are just, I'm just naming the guys that probably are more likely to make an impact. But what does this look like all around? You know, the addition of Omar Brown means, yeah, they're paying attention to the defense. Yes, they recognize they have a problem, that they need experience. Yes. Travis Fisher is probably one of the better guys, better coaching guys on our staff. And I think he continues to do good work. He continues to bring in people. I think they announced that he didn't even get a raise this year. So when you look at the defense, we'll take a look at the defense later in terms of what we're losing from last year. But uh, Omar Brown's addition is excellent news just in case our offense isn't capable of scoring 35 to 40 points next season, which we, that's where we want them. Okay, if you made it this far, thank you. Please subscribe. Uh, we are moving our podcast to a separate channel just because I want to mess with the see what the YouTube algorithm, how the algorithm responds. Um, I thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. This is John Johnston with Coronation. Go Big Red. I hope you're having a great day.